housing masses of ESO rejoice. We now have the ability to change the time inside our houses. Hello, it's Icy. Yes, finally, we have the Hourglass of Akatosh is available, finally. So if you have been playing the Elder Scrolls online for a while, you will know about event tickets. Uh, when you play an event uh, or you complete quests during an event, you will get an event ticket. Those event tickets can be used to purchase things from the Empresario, uh, found at locations around Tamriel outside of any of the starting zone cities. Uh, once you have unlocked uh, the three pieces required to get a Soulfire Dragon Illusion pet, then you can also purchase the three pieces required to create the Hourglass of Akatosh that allows you to change the time, the day-night cycle inside your houses. This is the last piece that I need. So we will get that, uh, and then once you've purchased all of the fragments, you go into the collections to the Sacred Hour of Akatosh and click on any of them. That will take your Soulfire Dragon pet, combine it with the additional fragments, and then we get an Hourglass of Akatosh. So, shall we go try this out? So I'm in my decorated Serenity Falls estate. I've picked this particular one because of course it has a lot of lights, so we should be able to show this off properly. Now, do I know how to use this thing? Not a clue. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, we have furnishings. And, oh, okay, we have it as a furnishing item. Okay, so let's place this. Luckily, <laughs> luckily I have one slot free. So let's put this right about there. And set time to sunrise. Oh, beautiful. So it's not just... Oh my, did you see the sunrise? It's not just day-night. It's actually... Oh, that's so cool. It's actually a whole bunch of times. Oh my, that's fantastic. Sunset. Midnight. And it looks like the rain and then re normal time. How fantastic. Uh, that is absolutely outstanding. Um, I will play around with that in this particular house later because I think this house will work always best at night time. But what I did want to try was how this works in one of the Daedric realms. So let's do that now. So once again, I placed the Sacred Hour of Akatosh. Oh! Okay, how interesting. Okay, so there is in fact a difference in Cold Harbor. Oh, wow. Not a great deal of difference. Like, I don't think we're getting any actual result here. Um, and time is just being fast forwarded. So I suspect if you stood here and watched the clouds, they would be slowly rotating around. So, but because there's, so it is incrementing time. I'm not sure if you noticed from sunset to midnight, there was actually more movement of clouds. So it's still incrementing time. It just happens that there is no difference in uh, this particular Daedric realm as to what's daytime and what's nighttime. So I think that will be the same in all of the Daedric realms. It's simply a cloud that just subtly moves, or it's just a sunscape or a skyscape that subtly moves around. But 
How fantastic! Uh, I am extremely excited to play around with the Hourglass of Akatosh, picking different day-night cycles and different things for different houses. I think if people used role, uh, if they did role-playing in particular houses, you might find this very helpful. Um, because perhaps you want to set up a scene where it's at a particular time of day or night. Uh, I have a number of houses where I would like it to be nighttime because of lighting effects or otherwise. So it's great. It's really good. If you have not got enough event tickets so far, uh, you have uh, perhaps two not particularly great options. There will be quite a number of tickets available over this next event, the New Life Festival event. Each day you should be able to earn three tickets, which is quite a lot. You can only hold 12 tickets in your inventory at a time. Uh, so you might, if you're already part of the way there, you might actually be able to go through and save up for the rest of them. Uh, you can buy event tickets for crowns or crown gems. Uh, so that might be an option if you absolutely have to have this and you don't have any other way of doing it and you need it right now. I will say often uh, previous events collectibles do pop up in the event tickets so if crowns are absolutely not an option and you don't have enough event tickets to um, get it now you'll probably be able to get the pieces next year no guarantee, but certainly previous um, event collectibles are available sometimes, so do keep that in mind as well. But let me know, are you going to be using the Akatosh Hourglass in any of your houses? Anything in particular? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, I am I thought it would just be day-night, but it's more than I thought. And I um, absolutely love the effect of actually seeing the sun and the clouds move across the sky as it fast forwards time. That is a fantastic effect. But let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not, please do subscribe here on YouTube as I have a lot of Elder Scrolls online content as well as some other gaming related stuff. Come follow me over on twitch.tv slash ICYIC where I'm a member of the ESO stream team and I often have giveaways. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.